Tonight, two police officers are accused of using excessive force. A family in Hammond, Indiana, has filed a federal lawsuit after a traffic stop turned violent. Dean Reynolds has the video. What started as a stop for a seatbelt violation quickly escalated. On September 24th, Lisa Mahone was driving with her friend Jamal Jones in the passenger seat and two children, 14-year-old Joseph and 7-year-old Janaya, in back. Jojo, get your phone out and, and, and video uh, to take I'm already doing it. Their federal lawsuit charges the Hammond police pulled them over in a highly aggressive way, Mahone explained. He's pulling me over like I robbed a bank. But in cell phone video shot by Mahone's son, the police focus is on Jones, especially when he fails to produce an ID. You need to step out of the vehicle. Mahone calls 911 when the officers draw their guns. I feel like my life is in danger. I need a lieutenant here right now. With recent police shootings like the one in Ferguson, Missouri, fresh in his mind, Jones stays put, he says, to protect the family. Y'all got a white shirt? And then asks for a higher ranking officer. Look at my shoulder, dog. I got the bar. Dumb He calling names. You want your kids to see you come out through the window? Or do you through want to the window? The car? So you're not going to pull me out no window. Hey, but then this the happened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Seven year old Janaya cries from the back seat. Jones is hit with a stun gun and arrested for resisting. I felt like my civil rights was just thrown out the window along with my body. In a statement, the Hammond police said the officers' concerns for their safety were heightened by Jones' behavior, and they feared the occupants of the vehicle may have possessed a weapon. No weapon was found. Yeah, Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.